If you happen to be watching this video on the day that it came out, September 22nd, then welcome to the very first day of fall. Here in the Hudson Valley, we're in the middle of a drought, so things are very dry and the leaves, unfortunately, are turning quickly and dropping quickly. So I am trying to soak up every little bit of color while it's still here. One of my favorite parts about fall is that you can be in an area that's totally green, but if you just turn around and look, you'll find color. And I feel like it's such a metaphor for life. There's always beautiful color to be found. You just have to look for it. When you pull back and look at the big picture, things are still very, very green here. But when you just zoom in a little bit more, you can see all of the color that's starting to pop out. And here at the cottage, it is starting to turn very yellow. Our well is running dry almost every day now because of how dry things are. So my plants are not getting water right now. And so they are slowly but surely coming to an end for the season. So I'm trying to just enjoy them while they're there. And I also have one last little project that I got started last week for the garden. Ready, ready? Bedroom! <laughs> so Bedroom! <laughs> All right, buddy. You're gonna stay here. I gotta go to Lowe's. You gonna be in the sunshine? You gonna have a sunshine nap? It's too hot for you to come, bud. High five. <laughs> <laughs> when I moved into this cottage last January, I thought that by the summer I would be able to do all these cool garden ideas and I really wanted to make a cool rustic picnic table. I never got it done, but here's the picnic table with a few remnant things left behind from other tenants and I finally decided to go and do a job I did not want to do, which was to get some concrete so that I could get these planters and put some tall sticks in them and hang lights around the picnic table. I of course had to stop in the garden center, but it's just too hot to buy mums. It feels like summer, not fall. So I went back to the clearance plants hoping for something fun. There wasn't anything fun, but oh, look what I found. Look at these gorgeous trees. I had to stop. I had to stop. Get out and look at them. They're so pretty. Let's go take a closer look. These trees happen to line the entranceway to one of the ugliest strip malls I think I've ever seen, but it doesn't matter that they're in an ugly spot. They're just so beautiful and in full color right now almost. So I had to go and just stare at this beautiful yellow color and I would have stayed there longer, but there was kind of a strange man hanging around. So I left. I got the only two containers around of 10 pound concrete mix. I did not want to try and haul the 50 pound or more bag. They were much cheaper, but carrying these little 10 pound containers was about all I wanted to do. And I thought one would work for each planter, but as it turns out, I needed 20 pounds per planter. So I mixed it up and I got my first little pole centered into it and then realized I was going to have to go find more concrete. Well, that's a bummer. I just had to order more concrete because <laughs> I'm too much of a wuss to actually pick up a large thing of concrete, which I could get at any store. I need like 10 max 20 pound bags of concrete. And it turns out I need 20 pounds per, per thingy. So yeah, and I only bought, I bought two 10 pounds thinking 10 would be enough in each, but it's not. So I had to order and um, it'll be delivered in two days. But what kills me is it's $20 for 20 pounds, but it was like $380 for 50 pounds. <laughs> but it's okay because I'm not about to hurt myself. It's just not worth it because then it would cost a lot of money to just fix my back if I hurt my back trying to mess around with a giant bag. So, yeah. Anyway, project will just have to wait. That's okay. What did I got for you, buddy? You want to be mean? 
Do you want a bean bean? What? You don't want a bean bean? It's fresh picks. What? Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want a bean bean? <gasps> oh, I know you do. Go ahead, take a bite. Go ahead, take a bite. I have to break it off for you. You ready to bean bean? Okay. <laughs> okay, Peglet. <laughs> you want another one? Ah, sit back. love those bean beans. I know, you know I have a little bit more. Hold on, let me take the end off. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Around here, September seems to be the month when morning glories just are glorious and mine are just growing everywhere. They're making me so unbelievably happy. While I was waiting for the concrete to come in, I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up a few really fun, beautiful little items to put on the picnic table to just dress it up and make it a bit more special when I happen to have friends over. And fortunately, it was the week of 40% off for candles and, and candle accessories. So I grabbed these two little lights that I thought would be really cute. And I think they ended up being like $3 each. So I thought that was a good price. I love a good candelabra, so I thought about getting one of these, but there's already an old, rusted, beat up one that is already on the picnic table, so I decided just to stick with that. And then I found some reduced price clearance glassware that I thought would look really, really pretty on the table. So I grabbed them and then peeked through the fall section, but for me personally, I just like using what nature is providing me outside rather than buying fall decor because there's just an abundance all around that we can use to decorate with. So the other day I went to Goodwill, I was looking for stuff to put on the cooking table and it happened to be Dollar Yellow Sunday and I had found so many cute things I wanted to just record to share because they were so cute but I, um, I, I brought my little GoPro but I forgot to put the SD card in it. So, but I'm excited because I did find this cute little vase, which I think will look adorable. It was the yellow color, so it was a dollar. Um, be perfect to put my little marigold flowers in that I can use on the picnic table because most of the things I've got are kind of rustic. So nice to have something crystally. So there's that. And then I'm so excited because I've been trying to come up with like my free people dupe outfits <laughs> and um, yeah, big oversized blouse with jeans that are just huge, but like really an unattractive length. I'm not a fan of a long jean short, so I thought it would be fun. These were also both yellow, so they were a dollar each. So I spent $3 at Goodwill. I was pretty excited about that. But I feel like they're gonna be perfect. They're so <laughs> stretchy because at this point in time, I will not wear a jean unless it's like this. I'm just not doing that to my body anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but um like I think I'm going to take off like I'm gonna make it boho -y, my jeans I'm gonna take off a pocket I think I'm gonna like stitch on some fabric here and maybe like stitch on a cute like flower um out, out of fabric here and then I'm gonna cut them so that they can be frayed and I think they're gonna end up being really cute they're not super stylish right now I didn't even know what size they were because whoever had them took off the size um so I've no I had no idea but I knew because they were so stretchy and big that they were gonna they were gonna fit I was hoping they'd fit like nice and baggy which they do so baggy with stretch <laughs> that's where I'm at in life right now I'm not even at like tight with stretch no I want it to be baggy with stretch <laughs> Wow. 
While I love seeing all these beautiful fall colors popping out, I am someone who really struggles with the darkness of winter. That didn't used to be the case, but I really, the last few years, have struggled with it. So as much as I'm loving seeing these beautiful sunsets, I'm getting a little scared because they're coming earlier and earlier. I'm going to be so sad when it's too dark to come out at like 5.30, but right now you can still do it, but it's come, oh, it's so pretty, oh, it's so pretty, oh. wow, it's just so pretty, oh. we'll just do a different angle so you don't see the ugly blocks, <laughs> there we go, love it. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, wow, they're coming down early. Oh, my beautiful leaves. Ugh. Okay, I'm a little sad about that. So something really strange happened to me this year. I am typically someone who sits down at the piano and plays Ooh, pretty stuffy. much every day, <laughs> but my father passed away in January, as I've shared here before, and I've had a really hard time with it, and there was something about the piano, I, I couldn't do it. I haven't played until right now. This was the very first day where I sat down and just forced myself to play. It's kind of weird for me to think that I've gone nine months and not played the piano, something that I love to do, and it's just a, a weird thing to get this block. I'm, I'm sure it happens to people in different ways with different things they do when they're going through things, but I, I hope that just getting started and letting my fingers relearn how to play the keys will help me to start healing even more than I've been able to heal and go back to doing something I really love doing. Oh, it's September and it's 90. It's really hot. Right onto US 209 North, Kingston Avenue. So I had a photo shoot at a really beautiful farm and I was wandering around looking at the pumpkins and all of the mums. It's so perfect for fall and yet it was 90 degrees. It was so hot. I had thought that after the photo shoot I would buy some mums, but I don't know, there's just something about being so hot that I don't feel like buying any plants for fall. And sadly, I wouldn't be able to really water them right now anyway, so I just enjoyed them while I was there. I meant to record like the behind the scenes of our photo shoot, but it's just really hard to do that when you're focusing on your work, but we did it. Oh, 99. Now I know it's not actually 99, but it feels like 99. And the poor girls who just modeled were wearing like thick material, well, they're in the trunk, like thick material fall dresses like, like this, but like the whole dress. <laughs> and I'm just wearing like a little romper made of that material and I'm dying. <laughs> so ooh. hopefully the pictures look like fall, but it's so beautiful minus the whole 99 degree thing. It's probably like 85 out, but in the sun it feels like 99. Poor Charlie, it's like normally in September he can come places with me and wait, wait in the car, but not yet, it's still too hot and it's very dry around here. We've had two like two to three giant rainstorms, which you've seen in my videos because I get so excited when it happens, but they're like huge storms and then like they, they blow in fast and they're powerful and then they're gone. But like steady rain, like we still are running out of water with our well regularly and the ground and everything is just so dry. So, 
Ah, we need rain. Hopefully it's coming soon. But it's now a really beautiful sunny evening and I'm driving home and I'm going to hopefully find just somewhere really beautiful to stop and soak it all in because, yeah, I love this time of year. been a fan of stopping at beautiful spots along the way or even taking the long way home if it means I'm going to see something really lovely and that's the case with this particular way home I added 15 minutes to my route but I knew that it would take me past this overlook and it felt completely worth it to have this beautiful site to stop at and then that night I got to work trying to bohoify my little dollar jeans that have all the stretch. Maybe is, as it turns out, a little too much stretch and room for me, but that's okay. I had wanted something baggy and comfy, which these turned out to be. Oh, that was definitely not straight. <laughs> well, <laughs> one looks totally longer than the other. I cut out some patches with the remaining fabric to put on. I played around with what it would look like to have multiple patches and then I even pulled out a piece of fabric that I would love to make a skirt or maybe even a dress with but I borrowed one little piece, well two actually, and played around with what they would look like. But in the end, I really ended up only using the one colorful little patch and then one other jean patch. And I think it turned out really, really cute. My wussy little 20 pound mix of concrete showed up the next day, so I was finally able to go ahead and finish up this little project in the backyard. It is such an easy thing to work with these little 10 pound bags. There were two 10 pound bags in the 20 pound container and it made the project so much easier. I'm so glad I decided to do that rather than trying to haul the giant thing of cement. And so I went ahead and put the other post in, the other tree branch actually. And I would have to say if I had to do this again, I would just buy two 20 pound containers of cement and I would just spray paint them black and use those instead of planters. But all in all, I'm happy with how things turned out. All right, so my rustic picnic table is pretty rustic and it has to be propped up in order to be somewhat level because I'm on a pretty good hill right here and that kind of makes things look even more wonky, but that's okay because I went ahead and put my beautiful little finds from Hobby Lobby and some gorgeous marigolds onto the table to see how beautiful it will look when I have some friends over for a little party. I decided that was something I want to do this fall, have lots of little gatherings and have people over to have a bonfire and just really enjoy being out in nature. So I wanted to make sure that I have a beautiful little setup and as I started getting everything put together and I strung some cute little solar lights that I got off of Amazon up, I was starting to feel really excited about how everything was turning out. For me, this garden has been a tremendous exercise in patience. I wanted it done right away when I moved in, but it just wasn't possible. It took longer than I thought it would. I had to go slow and steady, but as I sat here looking out at my little garden, I just felt really proud that I got it looking pretty much the way I had envisioned on my Pinterest board. And though it took me longer than I thought it would, I'm so happy with my little rustic garden here at the edge of the woods and I can't wait to invite friends over to enjoy it with me. 
Thank you so much as always for being here and watching my videos. I appreciate you so much and I hope you have a great weekend.